This man right here, Paul Grice, is going to be in court today, or is in court today, admitted to taking part in the burial of the two Kansas moms apparently killed over a custody battle. Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly were on their way to a supervised visit when they disappeared. And it was several weeks before they were both found dead in a rural area of Oklahoma. There are four other suspects in this case, and they include the grandmother of the children the adults were fighting over. All five suspects are part of an anti-government religious group called God's Misfits. News Nation senior national correspondent Brian Enton is in Guymon, Oklahoma, where this court hearing is taking place today. Brian, so Paul Grice, what's his connection to this group? What have you learned? Yeah, so he was friends uh, with the other suspects, and he was also, according to police, in the God's Misfits uh, cult anti-government group. So that that was the connection. But what's interesting, and court just ended, when you talk to people here, I mean, everybody knew these suspects. Uh, they described Paul Grice as a family man. Uh, Tad Cullum, the other suspect, was a successful uh, businessman in town, owns a ton of land. Grandma Tiffany Adams uh, was um, on the hospital board, and at one point, time the GOP chairwoman. Uh, we learned that Cole Twombly, another one of the suspects, was the president of the 4-H club. Uh, so these are people that uh, folks in town never expected would be charged with a brutal, brutal murder. That is Paul Grice walking into court just a little while ago. He's the fifth suspect to be arrested, also charged with murder and kidnapping. I asked him questions, Marty, as he walked in. Usually we don't get a response, but he actually answered my questions. Listen to what he said. Paul, is there anything you want to say to the victims' families? Sorry for their loss. Anything you want to say to your family? I miss them. I love them. We've learned uh, from neighbors uh, that he, Paul Grice, uh, lived with his wife and kids uh, out in the country here, was a rancher and farmer. Uh, his wife, we're told, has since left town with the kids and, and has said that she knew absolutely nothing about uh, the murders. But again, for people who live in town, and everybody knows most of these suspects and the victims, uh, they're still really in a state of shock about the whole thing. Uh, there are many people who actually come to the court hearings just to, to see what's happening for themselves. I just spoke to a few women. Take a look. What did you make of Paul Grice seeing him walk in? I felt good seeing him walk in for him finally getting caught and now he's on his way to see the now we're on our way to see that justice takes place. Grandma Tiffany was on the hospital board was the GOP chairperson. Uh, Cole Twombly was the president of the 4-H. Uh, Tad was a, a apparently had a lot of money businessman. I mean people don't see didn't expect this it doesn't seem like. Exactly and you know, all of us could have had interaction with these people at any time and oh. never knew it. Mm -hmm. And now we're seeing them charged on yeah. murder charges. And, and it's very sad that this has happened. It leaves a lot of people destroyed. So Paul Grice, who is in court today, Marnie, uh, he said that he cannot afford an attorney and will need a public defender, which, which is interesting when you consider that some of his uh, co-defendants, like Grandma Tiffany and, and Tad Cullum, have, have quite a bit of money. I mean, we're told they own thousands of acres in town. They've had many businesses over the years. Uh, so, you know, it's interesting that some of them were very wealthy, but then today Paul Grice saying uh, that he needs a, a public defender. And when the four suspects, including the grandma, were in court last time. It was real volatile and emotional in the courtroom. What's happening in there today with, with Paul's appearance? It was much calmer today, Marnie. Um, you mentioned last time, I mean, it was, uh, it was really something. I mean, Veronica, the victim, Veronica, her, her dad got very emotional, had to be held back, was saying cuss words at the, at the different defendants. Today, he was here again, uh, and he was, he was emotional and crying, which you can't blame him with everything they've been through, uh, but he was he was quiet today. You know, he didn't he didn't try to lunge at the suspects or or say anything. There were no outbursts. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.